Greetings, Psych VC fans. I'm Dave with your psychedelic snack. I believe this is number four. Um, yesterday I was out and about doing my ride sharing and ended up in one of my favorite parts of town. Uh, we've got a Goodwill there in that area, but we've also got what I think is maybe the best record store in Northeast Florida. But uh, first I hit the uh, the Goodwill, and uh, usually when I go to Goodwill stores, all I find is crap. But this time I found uh, more crap. But, you know, good crap, though. Uh, well, let me get right to it. First one I found was one of my favorite albums of all time. In crappy condition, I found this uh, Anthem of the Sun by the Grateful Dead. Terrible condition. It's kind of, you know, it's like a split open. I played side one. It's pretty scratchy. I don't know if it's a first edition. I do have other copies of this. I have it. I have all the CD versions, and I have the recently released uh, Rhino uh, version of this. So I, I didn't really need it, but it was on a shelf with uh, the Ray Conniff singers and Trini Lopez. It just didn't seem right to. To, to leave it there. I had to get it out of there. Better environment right here in the psychedelic shack. So, yeah, I got that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Next one I got is really in really good condition. Not really psychedelic. Uh, Johnny Rivers, I've always liked Johnny Rivers, underrated guitar player. Uh, this was, uh, you know, 33 cents. It's got a great uh, insert. One of those old school inserts. I don't, I think this may be a, one of the first editions. I don't know. The gatefold is really cool. Kind of psychedelic. As is the front cover. In the back we've got Johnny. It looks like, looks like a studio. Label is, never seen that particular label before. Uh, this is around the time Johnny was doing a lot of, uh, uh, Motown covers and stuff like that. Not really psychedelic, but uh, I don't know. There's a cover there. It looks like he was trying to get there. A little bit of, yeah, whatever. Uh, next on my list, I haven't heard this one yet. I have heard it, but I haven't heard this record yet. Uh, Donovan, Fairy Tale. Actually, I have not heard this. Um, it looks like, you know, crappy condition as usual, what I find at Goodwills, but, you know, 33 cents, I give it a shot and see if it plays, clean it up a little bit, but, you know, I don't know. It's going to go in my, I've got a bin for uh, records that are in crappy shape in my collection, and this will probably end up there, but I, I love Donovan like everybody else does. I know you all do, too. And, oh, yeah. Uh, then I found some pretty good stuff. Uh, now, this is a Goodwill. This is Goodwill. Um, 2,000, or 200 motels. Uh, Frank Zappa. Uh, sleeve is in bad, kind of bad condition. But the vinyl, I played the vinyl yes, last night, and it's perfect condition. This is a two-record set from the movie. 200 motels. Uh, the movie's probably one of the weirdest movies you'll ever see, but the music is really good. This is, the, it's the mothers and an orchestra, uh, basically. The, I don't know, Philharmonic maybe or something like that. But uh, the vinyl's good, but the cover's in pretty crappy. Good. There's a big gouge in it, so 33 cents, so... Oh, oh yeah, and also I picked up The Mother's second album, I believe. Yeah, second album. Um, this is absolutely free, and it's not in bad condition at all. Uh, well, it's, it's worn, basically, but the gatefold is intact. I like that, what was it, Kill Ugly Radio? I think it was one. Yeah, Kill Ugly Radio. I don't know what that's about, but uh, yeah, I love Zappa. And this also is on Verve, and 
it is in pretty good condition. Well, you know, what are you gonna say? I gotta do some glue work, it looks like, but. Uh, yeah, I love the mothers. I had this on, you know, I've got it on other formats. Uh, and I, I believe uh, Rhino released uh, another reissue, of the, a recent reissue of this. So it's definitely worth picking up. It's, uh, it's psychedelic, uh, you know, it's, it's Frank Zappa and the Mothers. You'll love it. And, oh, yeah, so I had, I found five albums, and uh, you get three for a dollar. So I need to get another album. But I cannot find anything, you know, psychedelic. It's all, all the, it's all crap. But I did t stumble on the one thing. Uh... Hey, the Fonz. I found this, so I, I figured this would be my sixth album. And, uh, yeah, this is actually pretty funny. It's the Fonz album. Fon, it's actually Fonz favorites. Now, on the back, it tells you, or it reassures you, basically, that it's not Fonzie singing. It's actually Fonzie's favorite, uh, uh, bands from the 50s uh, like uh, Rock Around the Clock and all that. Uh, we've got the uh, the Coasters, Bobby Darin, the Everly Brothers, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, Bill Haley. Of course, Rock Around the Clock was uh, you know on the hap I think it was a Happy Days theme song. But and this is really cool. And it's also got a uh, like a stand where you can stand it up on your desk or whatever and and. Revel in uh, Henry Winkler. This is actually probably going to be a gag gift uh, next Christmas. One of my relatives is going to get this for, for his Christmas uh, present. I do that. But yeah, that was uh, that was my uh, thrift store find, my Goodwill thrift store find. I paid uh, $2 for six albums. Three are keepers. Uh... I don't know what I'm going to do with the other ones there. But then I was on to uh, Wolfson Records on the, uh, I guess it's in the Arlington area, kind of. And uh, it's kind of like a warehouse. And I wanted to go in to find out. It's like, a, yeah, it's like a big warehouse. Tons of stuff. And I wanted to go in to find out um, how, if he had anything getting ready for a record store day, which is today. Um, and I went in there and, you know, started looking around. He came out and I t started talking to him. And apparently not all record stores are eligible to participate in record store day. Um, because, uh, you have to have a, uh, t in order to uh, participate in record store day, you have to have a record store that's got windows and it's got to be on a street. This particular uh, store is, you know, it's off the beaten path, kind of hard to find, but uh, it's a great place, great place. I can go in there in between drives. If I'm in the area, I'll go in there and I'll spend, you know, uh, however time until I get another uh, call to drive somebody. But, uh, you know, I could spend all day in there. I went in and I found, I went to the dollar bin, a dollar, they've got the, best dollar bin there is and I found uh, this, this is what I found uh, Blues Image man this is a great album this has got uh, Mike Panera in it who went on to uh, to go into uh, Iron Butterfly I think and uh, it's just great it's got a uh, it's great stuff final is uh, intact Oh, it's got that great ADCO label. I love this. And the ADCO upside down. Yeah, that was a great find for a dollar. Perfect condition. Uh, it's great too. It's got a little bit fuzzy and you know. But. And uh, the last one I got, or actually the second one at the store was uh, uh, Pacific Gas and Electric. Um, this band, uh, they formed from other bands. Um, the guitar player 
I believe was in, uh, let's see, was in, I don't know what it was. It seems like he was in several different bands. He was uh, the first guitar player for the James Gang. Now, before I researched this band, uh, you know, I, I thought that uh, the first guitar player in the James Gang was actually Joe Walsh. But it turns out that uh, the James Gang formed in like 1965, and, they're, they're, and Jim Fox, who was the drummer, went through several different uh, guitar players, and one of them was this guy, uh, Glenn Schwartz. And the album's great. It's uh, kind of blues, jazz, rock, kind of like Chicago, only a little bit fuzzier. Um, actually, they had uh, a, a, a thing similar to Chicago. Chicago, when they came out, it was uh, Chicago Transit Authority, and their real Chicago Transit Authority threatened to sue them if they didn't change their name, so Chicago changed their name to Chicago. And this thing, ha this ha same thing happened to Pacific Gas and Electric. Uh, the real Pacific Gas and Electric threatened to sue them, so they changed their name to uh, uh, the abbreviation. So, and it's a great album. It's really good uh, if you like Psych Jet. It's kind of like, a little bit like Traffic. But yeah, it was a pretty good day yesterday. I found some stuff I hadn't heard. Um, you know, got to talk to a couple of uh, you know, VC, and uh, it wasn't bad. But that's about all I've got, uh, and I will leave it at that. I hope everybody has a nice record store day and a great weekend. I'm out.